Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Praetorian and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 as we are playing with the Commune of France and the Kaiser Reich mod. Alright guys, so hopefully this episode we should get Entente defeated. That means uh, a lot of the episode is probably going to be a peace treaty because those always do take a bit of time to get done. Uh, so I'm really hoping that we take this victory point here and that ends the war. Probably Double not, shot. but I suppose we'll see. Let's go ahead and send this tank unit on over there. I think we got to wait for more units to be coming as well. Seems that there's a ton of tanks over here. We don't really need to sign there. Uh, yeah, a lot of these guys are currently assigned Got over here right now. Let's go ahead and get them moved over to that front there. I believe this guy here is currently the one taking that out, so all of these guys could be assigned to this front. In fact, um, whoever gets there, who's getting there first? It uh, doesn't really matter. Okay, let's just go and get all these assigned over here. Uh, it seems like a lot of the army is currently assigned to the other front, which is not what we want. All right, are these guys assigned to this one? Let's just take a look. Yeah, they are. Get over there, man. Uh, he's already moving over there, so I don't want to. I don't want to mess him up. All right, so we'll just wait. Uh, let's go ahead and get this going. Uh, we'll go ahead and get. Um, is it this guy? It's this guy. Get him moving on over to here, uh, and we could launch an attack there. We'll just wait though. Uh, we'll just be patient. Uh, looks like we do have to attack across the river. We Continue have taken that. That is excellent news. Uh, so once we get this wrapped up over here, uh, but yeah, I don't think that was enough. Uh, where are we at? Ninety-two percent. Okay, yeah, that was definitely not enough. Well, that's quite unfortunate. Uh, so I don't know where you guys are moving, but how about we go grab that for me real quick? Yeah, uh, we're gonna have them take that. We'll have this tank unit uh, move right there and then move over here. All right, excellent. And then we'll be attacking them right there. Right. Looks like they might, yeah, they'd be trying to go over there to Winnipeg, but they're not gonna make it. So Let's go and attack them over here and get them wiped out. Uh, looks like the bird done over there, so all of our troops should be assigned to this front. Or is there another front that they are assigned to? Uh, where are they all? Where are they all moved to? Is this two separate? Oh, okay, I see. Two separate. Oh, three separate fronts. Oh, okay. Um. All right, I mean, I suppose what we're going to want to do is let's get some more units coming over here because, yeah, clearly this is not going to be enough. We'll do like these guys here. Come on over to this front, please. Uh, let's get the get this pushing forward here. Uh, so we also want one of our fast tanks. He's not already. Uh, let's take one of the medium tanks. Where's all the damn light tanks? I guess we have all of them down here. All right, well, that's fine. Uh, let's move medium, and then we'll have a light tank move up there once we finish wrapping this up here. So we did finish our fighters. Excellent. Uh, so I guess we'll go ahead and work, for, work on the uh, close air support next. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Uh, then we'll want to get these guys building out. We do have a little bit of air experience to spend, and we might as well spend it while we're switching them up. Uh, since they're going to lose a bit of their efficiency anyways. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and just... We're not going to spend a lot, guys. Just a little bit. Uh, just make them a little bit better. I think that looks good. Uh, so let's go ahead and decommission these and place them with those. All right, excellent. Uh, so we're getting more uh, more quality fighters out there. So I know that this guy can't do it on his own, guys. That, that's fine. We're getting more troops over there. Just going to take them a little while to get here. Uh, and then we'll get them... Uh, well, he might be able to do it, actually. It looks like he just did. Yeah, all right. All right. Well, that's fine. I'm a little bit surprised uh, that he was able to do it. All right, we'll go let him take that. And then we're going to place him, if he hasn't already, it looks like he did. We're going to want him to start taking some of these provinces here since uh, we need those fast units doing that. Let's go and move these guys up here, get them taking that out real quick. We're going to have them advance the front there. Uh, and then you, yeah, he's coming over there now. All right, excellent. And... This is actually not across a river, so might as well attack there uh, and see if we can't grab up this area here, come up behind them, perhaps, uh, try and get them cut off from supply uh, so we can get them destroyed because that's the easiest way to get this done. Doesn't look like the Canadians have a lot of divisions left, honestly, guys. Uh, it looks like they're pretty short on the division front right now. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know how much they're going to be able to... We weren't able to cut them off. That's fine. Let's go and have them advance front that way. These guys can come grab that province. All right, so yeah, pushing forward very rapidly uh, over here. But yeah, it's, they just don't have the, the troop numbers to really deal with us All at right. the moment. Uh, and where, where, I thought I sent a light tank up there. Okay, I did, this is him. All right, let's go ahead and have this guy deploy right over there. Uh, how many troops do we have coming over here? We have 15, the majority of the army is actually gonna be coming up there. Oh, okay, it's all one front now. All right, nice. Okay, uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go and have this light tank here. Try and get up behind these guys, if at all possible. We're moving pretty quick, so yeah, it's kind of difficult to really get, anything, uh, get anybody surrounded here when you're moving this this quickly. Uh, yeah, we are deploying very rapidly. Uh, let's go ahead and do... Both of these guys are going to come over here. And is this a victory point? It's five. Okay, where are we at right now? Uh, so I believe each five victory points is getting us 4%, so that should put us at 97%. Not counting what we already have by the time we get it. Let's go and have you guys deploy up that way. 
Still waiting on that light tank to get up there. It's taking him forever. Uh, and it looks like he had a little bit of resistance up there as well. All right, so let's go ahead and have this unit here to play up here. All well, the medium tank attacks that. Uh, is that a... That's the five victory point. Okay, excellent. So when we seize that, we should find ourselves at 97%. Not counting what we've taken here by that point. So I'm going to have all these guys to pull over this way. Uh, as you can see, the infantry units just can't even keep up. They're having extreme difficulty. So what we're going to do is we're going to have them deploy with the railroads. Uh, some of these ones are a little bit further back. And have them deploy to the front with the railroads, because otherwise they're, they're never going to be useful. They're never going to get here in time. Uh, for us to even make use of them. Uh, there's another victory point. It's right there. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, that'll be helpful grabbing that up. There are fortifications all across these front guys, so we are facing that. And that's because they built those forts against the American, uh, the American uh, border here uh, for obvious reasons. They're worried about their syndicalist. Uh, southern neighbors. What can we do with these guys? Can we move? Hmm. We're moving so rapidly now. Let's see if we can't grab that. Uh, where our tanks are going to find themselves getting uh, possibly cut off here if we keep moving this quick. All right, so let's go ahead and keep on pushing forward, though, anyways, because I really want to get this done with, and we're like oh, 98%, guys. We're almost there. Uh, so, yeah, I think it's worth it risking the chance of cut off. Uh, I think we'd probably be able to save them. You would think we'd be able to save them, anyways. Uh, so we're gonna have these guys grab that province there And we're gonna have these guys take the railroads on over to here They're taking forever taking their sweet-ass time to get over here. Come on get over here guys All right, so we've got these ones cut off, which is excellent news uh, I'm gonna go ahead and work on getting these ones cut off as well, and we'll just have them uh, destroy them Should be easy enough All right, let's keep on deploying and Yeah, I think everybody's moving right now that can move Everybody that's on the front looks like these guys aren't even doing anything. Uh, these medium tanks. Uh, so, what I want you guys to do instead of whatever you're doing, come on over here and try and destroy them right there. Uh, we'll have this guy take this victory point here. That's two victory points. That'll be enough. There we go, guys. Thank the maker. Uh, we have finally defeated the Canadians. That means we have defeated the Entente. Got a little bit of equipment from that as well. The Canadians did have some stockpiles, so that's nice. Uh, so now we have to figure out what we want to do in the peace treaty. So one of the big issues here, guys, um, that I, I'm seeing is the fact that, I mean, I guess we'll deal with that when we get the events. Let's just first figure out what territory we want to take. A lot of people have uh, advocated taking Canada, uh, since, you know, France obviously at one time held Canada quite a long time ago, of course, uh, when we're here in the, the 20th century. But yeah, it's, it's quite a while back. But yeah, taking that back for the French instead of giving it back to the British would probably be uh, a pretty good move. So I think we are going to attempt to get Canada. But I also want North Africa. So we have to figure out how we're going to get both of these. We have a lot of points, but so do the Spaniards. Interestingly enough, the Spaniards have a lot. I think that's because they conquered Cuba. I really, really want Spain to get control of Cuba again. Uh, we're, we're going back in time here, guys. Uh, and then the British have nowhere near as many points. Uh, and then, of course, the Italians are down here in fourth place. And Central America there. All right. Then we can kind of see what kind of points they got. All right. Let's go and get this taken care of, guys. So... The first thing I want to do is let's take over that. Uh, is that the steel province? I don't think so. I think it's this one. I want to get all that steel. This 32 steel. Obviously, we, we are going to want to get all North Africa. However, I'm going to make a priority of getting uh, the ports here because if we take these, then the AI might not uh, try and get this because they need ports. Uh, so I think it would be useful to try and grab this up. Also, there's islands that I'd like to grab too, uh, mainly for... The ports, oh yes, and Corsica, of course. We gotta grab Corsica. I want Italy to get Sardinia, uh, so we might assign it to them if they don't take it themselves because they don't really have a whole lot of points, so uh, we'll get the Azores as well. Uh, and I suppose we can take that one too. We need to get control of some of these islands here uh, to kind of clear up. Oh, whoa, look at all this stuff over here. All right, I think we should probably get these as well. Look at all these resources, guys. Look at all this aluminum. That's nice, and we got some oil right there. I wasn't gonna grab these before, but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and seize them up. Uh, yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. Okay, let's see. I don't think we're gonna take anything else in the Caribbean at the moment. Let's focus on other stuff. Uh, but yeah, I'm just gonna swing around and see what I'm missing here, because yeah, there's a lot of stuff I didn't realize uh, that we're, we're gonna want to get. All right, um, let's see here. What should we do next? All right, we could do right there, because there's some good. Nope, no, we can't. That's 88 points, and we just can't do it. Well, can we get, hmm, let's see. I guess we'll start taking some more North African provinces if we want to get control of that, we probably should. As far as Norway, I guess we'll let the Brits have that, uh, or whoever uses their points to get it. 
Uh, we could just do Constantine. That's the only thing we have the points for. All right, or we could just go ahead and do Vermont. How much is that? That's 13. So that might actually leave a bit of room to take something else. Uh, oh, wait, nice. We can get the 59. Why can we do that? 88. Oh, okay, because that's only 13 points. That makes sense. So we could actually get a lot. There's still a lot that we can get here. Uh, there's another island here that we can grab as well, uh, as well as that island. Uh, of course, there's all of this region here to get. All right. Yeah, a lot of options, guys. Um, we could do this. That would be the same amount of points there. But I think we're going to focus over here. Let's do it, guys. Let's grab Vermont. Let's grab Nova Scotia. Scotia. Uh, and I think that's probably going to be it that we're going to be able to get. We might be able to grab a couple islands, squeeze it in there. Uh, probably not, though. That's 22. How about these ones? 10 points for those. No, can't grab those. Okay. Hmm. We can grab that. No, we can't. Okay, so we can't get anything worth 10 points. We could do some four-pointer ones if we wanted to. Uh, a lot of these are kind of cheap, but yeah. <laughs> All right, yeah, I can't do anything. All right, so this is it. This is what we're gonna do. Mainly focusing on this area here. Uh, I think that's for the best. And of course, we got all these really hardcore resource locations. I'm happy about that. Uh, let's end our turn and see what they do. Um, so it looks like the Spaniards are the only one who got a chance to do anything, and they're doing what I expected them to do. They're going after Portugal. Uh, they'll probably end up puppy them, uh, which is fine. We once again have points, so let's go ahead and start taking some stuff. We don't have a lot of points though. Uh, so we'll try and get everything that we can. Uh, I, I really want upstate New York because there's a lot of great resources there. Uh, I don't even know if we'll be able to keep Canada if we're going to have to puppet them. I imagine we'd have to puppet them. So we'll grab... Oh, we can't get all that. Hmm. All right. Well, maybe we should go after North Africa then. Can't get that one either. All right. We got this big old gap here. That's kind of ugly. But what are you going to do about it? Uh, yeah, we can't really get anything. We don't have any points at the moment. Uh, okay. That's fine. Uh, we'll just go for something cheap. Something cheap. What can we get that's cheap? Well, we could do... Yeah, these are all really expensive over here. Yeah, I can't get that. That's 24. And do that four-pointer one. I don't see a point in that. All right. Well, how about... Jamaica's got some resources. Let's grab Jamaica. Nope, can't get that. No, that's 85 points. All right. Um, <laughs> yeah, we can't get shit. Well, we can get that, that uh, steel resource here. Or the steel. Nope. Can't do that. That's 14. Damn, I'm over here coughing up a lung for no damn reason, man. All right, so, yeah, clearly we can't do anything. We can't do the 10 point ones. So let's just go ahead and enter turn. Is there, there's not anything in Asia, right? Oh, yeah, there's the Portuguese provinces in Asia. I'd love to grab that up. Actually, in fact, can we get this 7 pointer? Oh, we can't. Damn it. Can't have this, this one. It's only 4 points. Nope, can't do shit. All right, so let's go ahead and enter turn. Let's see what the Spanish did. Okay, they took that last Portuguese province. Uh, we're starting to come up even here, so you're going to see the Brits probably take some shit. Italy's going to start taking stuff. Uh, okay. Um, let's go ahead and get some more uh, things here. Uh, we could always try and get Norway under control and just puppet them. That'd be a nice puppet to have. Uh, I suppose that's a possibility. Yeah, why not? Let's let's grab it, guys. Oh, we can't even get very much. <laughs> that's 131 points. Jesus Christ. All right, well, that is their capital province. We'll try and take that with something else. I, I kind of want Jamaica just because of all the resources that are there, but yeah, I can't grab it. All right, well, that's unfortunate. All right, well, what can we get? There's got to be something here. 37 points? No, can't do that. Oh, we are so broke. We're so broke, guys. It almost feels like we should just hold on our points and just pass. I think we should just pass, guys, and just let them do whatever they're going to do. Uh, yeah, let's pass and see what they do. They didn't do anything. They all passed as well. Or somebody passed their points. Oh, nice. Spain gave up all their points. They decided that's all they wanted. They just wanted Portugal. And they gave up the rest of their points uh, to Italy and Britain. Okay, everybody got a little points. All right, excellent. So that's going to give us the ability to pretty much do whatever we want now. Uh, yeah, we're, we're in control. Excellent. Uh, well, let's go and take over Norway. Uh, I guess we'll puppet them. I was going to give them to the Brits as a puppet, but you know what? It's fine. It doesn't really matter who has them as a puppet. I'd, pr I'd prefer that they were my puppet, so I think that's the better option. Uh, we'll go ahead and grab up uh, North, North Africa here as well. Uh, and, or I should say, I mean, that's not just North Africa, obviously. <laughs> There's a lot more to North Africa. Could have just called it Algiers, Tunis. Uh, I, I guess we're going to take over all Canada as well, since we have the points. Might as well make it happen, guys. Oh, yes, I forgot. I want the control of the areas here, the Portuguese areas here. So we're going to grab those up. I have that one up as well. And I think they have this India province, so we'll go ahead and take that too, just because it's only five points. We can grab up all this region here. 
and we'll just probably puppet these ones. And I was going to talk about that a little bit later, uh, some of the issues that we're going to have with that. But yeah, we won't discuss it just yet. Uh, and yeah, I'll wait to get the rest of Africa, just in case the Brits decide they want to go after it or whatever. Uh, and yes, I really want Jamaica in my control for those resources. And I suppose we can go ahead and take over Canada now, guys. Uh, actually, in fact, I think just taking this here, uh, what we have here, would probably be enough to stop the AI from ever messing with Canada. I don't think they would even care. Yeah, I think we probably just take that and we're good to go. Uh, so that, that allows us to then focus on areas that the AI might actually be curious, you know, actually want to get. Uh, so let's go ahead and take some some of the African territories here. I'll try and get all of it if I can. Because it was originally, it's French's anyway. France's, I mean. It said French's. <laughs> I'm getting some mustard. Uh, so yeah, we'll, we'll grab all that up. We have so many points, yeah, we could probably grab it whatever the hell we want. Uh, now that I'm thinking about it, guys. Uh, is that Spanish territory? I want to say it's Spanish, but I can't tell. Yeah, Iberian Federation. So we'll give them that island. I think we'll probably start grabbing some territory up for our allies. Uh, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, we'll probably grab some territory for up for them. As soon as we finish up with Canada, if we still have points, uh, we'll start working on helping them out. Helping the allies. Because it seems like we we're, we're going to be able to do whatever we want. All right, so yeah, we'll grab all that up. I don't know if there's any other Canadian spots that I missed. I'll just kind of swing here and make sure there wasn't anything that I missed. I feel like there's something. Hmm. I'm not saying it though. All right, whatever. Uh, so we got that. Uh, let's go ahead and start assigning some stuff. I really, really want Spain to have Cuba, like bad. Uh, and then I want Italy to have Sardinia. So let's let's go ahead and start assigning stuff to our our friends. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Let's do Italy first. So Italy can have Sardinia. And then we're gonna give. Oh, it looks like the Brits aren't gonna get anything. We can give them some some islands here if we have the points. Uh, but first is Spain. Spain's kind of pushed themselves out of it. They said don't want anything else. But you're gonna get more. I don't care whether you want it or not. You're gonna get Cuba. I said you must have Cuba. Uh, we could also get Puerto Rico if we wanted to. Um, this all says French Caribbean, so <laughs> probably should take it for ourselves. Uh, but I don't really need, we don't really need all these islands. I mean, we have this here. I suppose we could take one island or whatever just to have the air base there. Uh, yeah, so we'll give that to Spain. Um, and then we'll give the British the Bahamas. I think that makes sense. Uh, but before we end up in Spain here, let's give them a bit more territory here. Uh, we will give them control of that. And they can always give it to Portugal if they want to. And then we're going to give them control of this as well. Uh, those might, because there's that Portuguese cores on it, it might end up going to Portugal. Uh, because I imagine they're going to free Portugal. Uh, they're going to puppet them, is what I mean. Uh, they're not going to annex them. Alright, so that's good to go there. Uh, let's go ahead and... What do we have left? Uh, just the Bahamas, I think. Uh, yeah, and other Caribbean islands. Alright, so let's go ahead and do the Brits. We'll give the Brits some territory. We'll give um, the Bahamas up here. And that's good. Uh, and then we can also give them, let's see here. Uh, we could also take that for ourselves. That's an option too. Uh, take these this island chain here. Let's say all of it is Oz. Uh, and what we'll do is we'll give Puerto Rico to, to Spain. So you can have Puerto Rico. All right, that looks good. I don't know if there's anything I'm missing. There very well could be. I'm just going to swing around in all the areas that we fought in uh, and all the areas that our enemies are in just see if there's any little numbers we might see. You know, places that still have points to be given out. I think that's it, though, guys. Unless I'm forgetting something uh, Portuguese had an island or something like that. All right, so I think we're good to go. Let's go ahead and end our turn. Uh, we still had a ton of points, so yeah, we really got to dominate this, which is nice. Uh, so let's go ahead and end our turn and see if there's anything I missed here. Okay, it doesn't look like it, because yeah, they didn't do anything with their points. Alright, so, we did forget something. What did I forget? Seems that Norway has somewhere that I forgot. Oh, there's a little island right there. Or a little island of land, I should say. Right there, okay. So yeah, we're going to want to take control of that. Uh, and then, Portugal has something that we missed. Okay, we could just do take all states. Uh, oh, okay, there's one right here. Uh, well, I'm okay with... Taking that for, well, we do have these two islands. I suppose we can take that for ourselves. Why not? Why not, guys? All right, so that should be it. Let's end the turn. There we go. Excellent. So we got it done. Uh, peace treaty is finished. Let's get this peace conference going. So 
Uh, we're not going to deal with anything yet because obviously we're not going to get to keep all this land. Uh, we're going to have to wait until those events pop up. Uh, you know, for whether we're going to annex or puppet the lands. And let's go ahead and make that happen. We'll just wait for it. Uh, I feel Bye. like there's probably something I should be doing here. There is. Uh, so let's go ahead and throw these guys into... Ooh, it looks like we actually have one extra division here. Okay. Uh, we'll do one light tank Bye. and one medium into this one. Throw them over there. And then the uh, extra one can just come on over to this army for right now. I don't think they have any tanks yet. All right, so we'll throw them over there. Uh, I hate that we got just factories and stuff. There we go. Excellent. All right, so we've got the events. Um, let's see what all is about. So, all right, so Tunisia, we were expecting that one. Uh, Fate of West Indies Federation. Fate of Algeria, Canada, Angola. Oh, wow. Okay, Mozambique, Sierra. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, great. There are a lot of African countries in the game, in the mod. Norway, oh, oh lord. All right, so here's the problem, guys, and this is what I was waiting to discuss with you, is I'm absolutely fine with going in the negative on the political power. There's really nothing that we need uh, political power right now. Oh, I didn't know these were events like this, huh? All right, interesting. Uh, yeah, I'm fine with going to the negative on political power. We're not even using it for anything. Eventually, we're going to want to change our manpower laws, of course. Uh, but other than that, uh, I think feel like we're we're good on political power. The problem in the mod now, this is different now that we've, we're on the new patch, is that you also lose stability and war support. Uh, which, as you guys can see, we're only at 26% war support right now, only at 60% stability. So we cannot afford to get a bunch of shit. I mean, look at our... God damn, our war support is terrible. Man. That is, like, really bad, guys. Yeah, I'm not even sure what we're going to do about that. I don't know if the, the mod has any ways to increase that. Like the uh, vanilla does. All right. Um, yeah, that's a serious problem. So we can't we can't get all this. We can't, we can't take all this stuff. Um, obviously, some of it I do want to keep. Uh, but I think we need to be a little bit more choosy on what we decide to keep. Uh, so what would they get if we gave them this? Oh, man, they get, like, a lot of shit, don't they? All right, well, we're probably going to continue military occupation of this. Uh, and it's not as expensive as some of the other stuff as well in, in regards to our war support and stability. We're going to keep that, annex it. Uh, let's take a look at what we're, I want to keep North Africa in our hands. So, But let me see where we're at once we do all the other stuff. Uh, so clearly, we're not going to really keep Canada. Uh, I don't think. Look at how expensive it is. It's it's very, very expensive uh, in regards to the, the stability, war support, and political power. So I don't think we should keep it, which is a bummer because I really did want to keep it. But I think we're going to have to puppet them, guys. This is this is really bad. So I guess we're going to liberate loyal Canada. We could split them up, but I don't really see the point of that. Uh, basically, that just all that does is result in us a weaker puppet. So no point on doing that. We'll just liberate loyal Canada because, uh, yeah, I don't think we're going to have any other options here. All right, so we'll do that. We know that that's all going to go into their hands. And it's going to take a while, because <laughs> that's a lot of uh, changing of possession. It almost seems like it crashed. Good God. All right, so we now have the Socialist Commonwealth of Canada. And the syndicalists look pretty strong, so we should should hopefully not see a, uh, a civil war there. Uh, so let's take a look at what else we have here. Uh, Angola. Um, yeah, I, I already knew that we were going to uh, give up all these African provinces. here. So this will all go to Angola. I think they get that one as well. It could be wrong. Let's just take a look what they get. Yeah, they're going to get a couple. Uh, and then, yeah, we know we want to give up Mozambique as well. I think this is called Mozambique. Could be wrong. Uh, I think that's that's what it'll be called. Uh, I thought I saw it. Yeah, they're right here. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, let's go ahead and... Uh, we're not going to... Obviously, we're not going to occupy them for that cost. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to form them. We're going to do the same thing with Mozambique. I'm absolutely fine with that. I expect it as such. Um, hmm. What happened here? Oh, they're there. There's almost the same color as France. All right. That confused the shit out of me. All right. So Sierra Leone, uh, that's another one that I'm not going to <laughs> occupy for that kind of cost for one little old province here. Nope. I don't think so. Um, Senegambia. Where is it? I think that's over here somewhere, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think it's Senegal. Yeah. Senegal. All right. So that's the force deal. There's some... All right. So yeah, we're just going to form, form them up. That's fine. Mali. Okay. We got Mali here. They're going to get... I don't know where those are. All right, well, it says the desert, so is that one of these ones? Yeah, that's that one. All right, so is it... It's that one. All right, so they'll get that. You know what, guys? I, I just don't see the point on taking these ex hugely expensive costs 
uh, to occupy them, which sucks because I, I don't like doing this. Like, we're balkanizing Africa here. This is a real shame, but that's the way the mod is, guys. The costs are so heavy. I don't understand why you get such a nasty cost of stability and war support. I really don't like that. Somebody was asking me, I, I said in a previous episode, that there's certain aspects of the mod I don't like because uh, I do enjoy the mod overall, but this is one of them. I, I don't like this at all. There's such massive penalties. It doesn't really give you a choice. Like, we just took all this in taunt territory, and it's not like we have an option on what we're going to do. Anything that removes choice from the player, I don't really like. Uh, so uh, this is also going to be in Africa. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to form them. I think that that's right there. Uh, and, of course, Niger. We know where Niger is. So, yeah, we're going to have to get them going here. And then where's this one? Wade. Wade. I have no idea where that one's at. Okay, it's right here form them there uh, and this one's gonna be I think it's that one isn't it yeah so they're probably gonna get all this region here okay there's just it, it's just not worth it guys uh, it's just not worth the, the huge penalties um, okay it would have been nicer to have given all this to... I mean, it's only really like cost. So we're just going to have to do it. It just kind of sucks because that's like they're going to be worthless. Whatever. I'm just not taking that. Uh, Norway already knew that I was going to liberate Norway, so I'm absolutely fine with having Nor Norway as a puppet. And that's going to take a little longer since I do have a bit more uh, states. Yeah, so we're going to do all that. So that leaves the... Oh, well, we have this one too. All right, we'll go ahead and form the state here get that done so uh all this is done in africa and that with the exception of algeria and, and tunisia which i actually really wanted to keep this region here um i mean I, I know it's not like extremely it's still though which is always helpful uh and it's rightfully ours and look at all these these factories we're gonna be giving up uh so i think we we do have a bit of stability i know our war sports garbage but i think we're gonna go ahead and occupy these two uh, it's going to be costly, guys. It's going to put us at 47% stability. It's going to put us at 13% war support. That is terrible. <sighs> but yeah, I don't really think that there's any other options here, guys. And obviously, the Puddle Power is going to... We're going to get a hit on that, too. All right. Yeah, that sucks. That really sucks, guys. Uh, so our war support is garbage. I'm hoping that there's a way to increase that. Uh, I'm really hoping... I, I almost feel like now we have to have Germany attack us. So we can get that nice bonus for the defensive war. Uh, you get a defensive war bonus uh, to the war sport. So I think we're going to have to do that, guys. So as of right now, we are only currently at war with New Zealand now. They're just It's just not a priority for me, honestly, guys. I don't i don't really care uh, about it. Uh, can we build in, in their lands here? We cannot. All right, so we can't even build in. That sucks. Uh, so, yeah. Oh. Oh, my. <laughs> Look at this, guys. They're a part, I did not know that. They're a part of the German faction. When the hell did that happen? But yeah, I'm, I'm surprised. Uh, probably for protection against the combined syndicalist of America here. All right, so that's actually, uh, that's a problem. Maybe we should keep troops here to help the Canadians out. I almost feel like we should. Yeah, like, keep a few divisions, not even a lot, just a, a couple divisions here. Uh, you could hold this province with one, because as you can see, yeah, it looks like you can't invade all that. That's really nice. Uh, I always hated having an attack cross this way whenever I invaded Alaska. Uh, though I guess it uh, does leave less room for you to go, if you were invading from Alaska. It gives you a little less room to attack from. Uh, how many provinces would this be? If we wanted to just defend it until the Canadians build their forces up. One, two, three, four plus one right here would be five so we could do it with five divisions guys and i'm really tempted to do that i i think that's actually exactly what we're gonna do here leave five divisions probably not even any tanks it would just be yeah yeah just five infantry divisions and then we'll move all the tanks yeah that's what we're gonna do all right so let's go ahead and i'm gonna move some of these to asia since they're pretty close uh, so we know we're going to want to move more to asia so now that we got that war done so might as well move these ones so what we're going to do Let's move another one over there. Uh, how many can we take of these infantry? If we want to leave four, uh, or five, excuse me, then we can take six infantry out. Okay, uh, so, and I'm not going to invade New Zealand, guys. I know everybody wants me to. I just don't see a purpose. Why lose the troops? Uh, you know, already manpower is becoming a problem. Uh, we need to get enough political power to change it. And I, I just don't see the point of doing it. Um, we'll let, let our allies do it. They don't really do much work anyways. Uh, why you know, do something costly to ourselves? So I want to leave all these ones here that have no experience in Canada so that we can easily train them. And let me just see where I want to move these. I'm trying to see what fronts are the weakest right now. 
Uh, you know what? Actually, we're going to need to cover our newly taken province as well. That could be a good place to launch an invasion of German China without having to actually do a naval invasion. Huh. That's something to consider, guys. Yeah, that is exactly what we're going to do. We're going to give the tanks over here. Uh, so we're going to put some tanks here and some infantry as well. We're going to do like four divisions over here, guys. Honestly. Uh, let's go ahead and move them over there now. Let's give them a front here and assign those to that front, and they should start moving over there. Uh, stat. And that leaves five more I divisions sure. that can fit into that army, which is great because I think we have one, Got two, three, four, five, six divisions to go over there right now. All right. Um, oh, and plus this guy. All right, so that's that's plenty enough. So let's go and get them moving. Uh, we're going to move... Where, do we have a light tank there? We do not. I almost want to move a light tank for some quick conquering here, guys, uh, to one of these provinces, like right over here somewhere. I think that would be really useful having a light tank over here. I don't know if we moved any. I thought we moved one light tank. Apparently that is not the case. All right, well, that's fine. Let's move one. Uh, we'll take one of these light tanks that are in here right. and move them to that front right there. Uh, that leaves four more divisions yeah, that we need to get assigned here. Uh, so we're going to place... Uh, you know what? We're just going to take all right. these and assign them, them now. Uh, so that I don't have to keep on bouncing back over there. Uh, and we'll get them assigned here momentarily. We'll put one here. There we go. Uh, we're going to sure. place this guy here um, onto this front, I suppose. We want to make sure we take Singapore. Uh, and then I we'll take sure. the other two and move them over here. One right there. Bye. And another one right here. All right, excellent. So all those guys are moved. Uh, sure. We're going to go ahead and create some fronts here. We're going to pull a few of these divisions out, guys. We'll probably pull the two Hold tank up. units out. We're just going to throw them uh, into this army for right now, and we'll get them moving over to the coast here. Over here to Boston. We no longer need to occupy this either, which we weren't occupying most of it anyway. So <laughs> let's go ahead and... You know, actually, we could do this a lot easier by just throwing them into... Well, hmm. Maybe we just throw them into the occupying army, wherever the hell that is. I think it's this one could be Got wrong, wrong. <laughs> no it's not that one it's the orange one all right excellent so what we're going to want to do is let's uh let's just delete um delete all their orders and then give them a new garrison order just to come over here and garrison here just because i want them all coming back home uh yeah that's what we'll do uh, right. and then what we're going to do here is take the cavalry so. army and throw them into that army there it's the uh orange one all right, excellent. So they'll go move over there on their own. Uh, should be uh, nice and smooth, hopefully. And then we're going to need to take the... Okay, we're already moving those. So we got that going. Um, oh, that's the wrong one. Yeah, that's the... Uh, that's, excuse me, guys. I'm all fucked up. <laughs> we need to move, take these guys now and put them on their front. All right, so we're going to want a front that goes across here. Uh, and then we're going to take... Uh, also give them a front that goes here. And then we'll take one division and throw him there. And then the other three can go over here. All right, they're already assigned. Excellent. Uh, we'll probably change that commander as well, because obviously we don't need that really good commander over here. Uh, we'll do that later, though. I'm not too worried about it. Uh, so I think that should have all of our troops moving around. I think we're good to go. Uh, yeah, uh, nice. All right, so we're going to just play for a little bit longer, guys, because, the, like I said, the peace treaty did take up the entire time, as I expected it to. Uh, it's just always the case. Uh, so... Um, yeah, we got it done. Uh, it's just a bummer we didn't get to take much territory for ourselves. Uh, and they're no longer going to give us a lease. Not surprising. In fact, let's take a look at how we're doing with the training our troops here. Yeah, let's go ahead and get some more equipment going here. Uh, more uh, troops will just throw them out there. We're going to get a couple more light tanks as well. We actually are doing pretty good on light tank equipment. Uh, and then I want to get us some more divisions, regular infantry divisions as well. we'll do like 10 more. Uh, I think we're starting to hurt on manpower, but that's okay. We'll be able to change that soon. Uh, so let's go and throw these guys over here and into the training army. All right. Excellent. All right. Looking good, guys. Uh, so, uh, yeah, we got a lot of troops training right now. 11 divisions currently in that training army. Got a bunch more coming up as well. Uh, we're going to need them on the front with the Germans. And, in fact, I think I am going to invade. Well, I guess we'll do this event here. Uh, what is this? The Canadian government has formed the Imperial Scientific and Academic Council to better coordinate the research efforts to member states of the British Empire. Canada has generously offered to fund the main operations of the council, so our government would only need to fund the efforts of our own scientists and acad academics in order to participate and share in the technological benefits. An interesting ideal, so we'll join that, but does that take us out of the one that we're currently in? Because that's kind of a bummer. Can you be in multiple research, plan research things? I don't think you can, honestly. 
Yeah, I'm not entirely sure how that works. Um, okay, well, whatever. Um, hopefully it'll be beneficial. I, I don't know. I don't know how that works. Uh, so, because I think we had some, we had like, uh, I know we had these guys in our our uh, research team, whatever, research group. Uh, so, yeah, I hope that they don't get pulled out. Uh, I guess we'll just have to see. All right, so uh, I'm going to try and get just into March, guys. Oh, yes, that's right. I was going to do an invasion. Uh, I think we're going to go ahead and start justifying a war goal here against them. Um, yeah, why not? Why not attack Denmark? I think we should make it happen. Uh, and then we'll have these troops do that. Uh, we'll have bring them on. Where would be the best location to invade from? Probably the closest port. Uh, we'll just invade from that port there. And, yeah, we'll probably just bring all these troops over there. Uh, these guys actually need to get trained up here. We'll throw them into that army. Uh, they need to train a little bit. And, yeah, we could just bring this army over there. Uh, it's nine divisions strong. That's not that bad. I mean, we're going to get a few more as well. Uh, we'll probably be able to defeat them with close to that. How many troops do they currently have? They only have 10 to 18. Uh, so I think we can make it happen. Yeah, let's, let's attempt this, guys. Uh, let's go ahead and take this army, and let's put them on... I would just want to take the whole army. And let's go ahead and give them an invasion order uh, to invade. They can invade from right there, actually. Yeah, that'll work. Uh, let's go ahead and have them invade over here. Obviously, we still have to... Uh, Form a war goal against them, so that's going to take a bit of while, a little while. And what we'll do, in fact, is let's go and give them the invader guy uh, that is currently over here. Uh, and what we'll do is just give them just any general. It doesn't really matter which one, honestly. Um, I mean, I guess they can have the engineer. Sure. All right, so uh, let's go back and give them our invader uh, because he's pretty damn good. Uh, he's really good. Uh, but he doesn't command marines, so yeah, that's just not that beneficial. All right, so we're going to give him that, uh, Henry Roy, uh, and they should be able to do that fairly quickly. It's only going to be 31 days uh, for them to get that, so not too shabby. Uh, I wonder if that trait has taken effect. Hmm, that's kind of weird. I thought it was less than that. Let's try that again. Yeah, it wasn't... Yeah, I don't... Let's just take a look here. If the trait had played a role. Well, I guess it is. All right, well, whatever. All right, so we'll bring those troops on over there. Uh, oh, yes, we never did form the uh, Wargle. Let's go and make this happen, guys, because I think it's going to take a little while uh, to make that happen. Uh, so let's go ahead and do their capital there. 210 days. Good God. All right. That's expensive. All right. So I guess we'll... Yeah. That's fine. That's gonna, that, I said expensive. It's going to take a long time is what I'm trying to say. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna go into March here most likely. Let's take a look at what the Germans are working on. Oh, they're still working on that same thing They haven't got their national focus finished just yet uh, One of the things changed that we need to be aware of. I know we moved our garrison army uh, We got that taken care of. Uh, we didn't really have any armies elsewhere that we need to get moving I do actually want to have this army here train. So let's go ahead and make that happen uh, Do a bit of exercise. We did get our anti-tanks here. So that's excellent. We're done over there, are we done here just yet? I'm not entirely sure what we still need, honestly. Uh, I know we're working on planes right now. Obviously, air doctrines, we don't have all those yet. Uh, ships, well, I think we're about to get some research bonus for ships, so we should probably wait to do those. Obviously, land doctrines, I think we're waiting for research bonuses on those two. Got all our tank stuff. Uh, we could always do a support. Um, yeah, do we have all the infantry stuff? No, not yet. Uh, you know what we should probably do? Special forces. Got a 10% bonus for that as well. All right, so we'll take care of that. Hopefully the Canadians are able to uh, get a little bit of an uh, army built up here before any conflict breaks out with the Germans. That's the next conflict, guys. Well, of course, we do have this little one with Denmark. Uh, but I'm really hoping that our puppets can get some troops built up uh, for the war with Germany. That's always one of the negative things with uh, everybody's like, oh, well, puppet, puppet, puppet. You know, everybody wants you to do a puppeting. Uh, we never did upgrade these. The problem is that they don't have any troops, and I never did mess with any of this shit. And I bet we lost a lot of factories as well that we're going to have to redo. Yeah, we're going to have to redo all of this. Okay. Um, damn. All right, well, let's stop trading with them. And we're going to stop trading with Azerbaijan as well, because they're soon going to be conquered by Germany. Um, looks like the Brits are having some issues supplying us with resources, too. Uh, we can pull from... Let's see here. Who do we want to pull from? I, I'm fine with supplying Iran, uh, but I prefer to do allies first or potential allies first. Uh, and then I guess we can go ahead and pull from the Americans one factory there. All right, that'll work. Uh, we do need to get all these other things taken care of. Oh, they don't have any resources any longer. Yeah, okay. We actually have to trade with the Portuguese here. 
Okay, that's fine. They're part of the they're part of the alliance. It doesn't matter. Uh, and that clearly wasn't enough. All right, that's weird. Uh, and then the steel, we can get that. Continue getting that from the Brits. We could also get it from the Swedes. Maybe we should conquer Sweden too. That's always an option. I don't know if it's going to be worth it though. Uh, it looks like the Italians no longer have the uh, chromium we need. Uh, South Africa does though. So does Cuba. Let's just do Cuba since they're in the faction. All right, guys. So we got that all taken care of. Obviously, I need to take care of the factory as well, but I got to do this wall in place because uh, I want to get to March and get this episode finished up here. I think I heard my wife come home like five minutes ago with our dinner, so <laughs> yeah, I definitely want to get dinner going. Ooh, we got a lot of stuff going towards the. Wow, look at all this. Yeah, we don't need a lot of the things we're currently building right now. Let's pull from some of this um, a bit. Yeah, let's go ahead and do pull from the support equipment a bit. Because, uh, yeah, we're producing a lot of that. Uh, the motorized is, is fine for right now, I suppose. Uh, we could actually do a pull from one of those since we have so much that we must have gotten from other uh, countries that we conquered. Uh, that's what I imagine. Let's see what else we got that we're kind of stacked up on. We still need a lot of mechanized. Man, we got a lot of infantry equipment. We got a lot of anti tank, a lot of artillery. Okay. Uh, but still short on a lot of things that looks like the Canadians didn't have for us. All right, well, since we are looking so good on many things, let's pull from some of this stuff, so we don't need as much of it. I do want to upgrade this stuff, so we're not going to pull too much from it. Let's go five times, get five factories going to those. And, uh, see, I still need all this medium stuff here. All right. Okay, other than this stuff here, we're looking pretty good, guys. We've got all the planes assigned. Yeah, it's looking good. I'm absolutely fine with the way things look right now. Okay, so let's just take a look at the what we're currently building. Uh, we do need to get some more stuff building, and we got our national focus, and we're in March. So I guess we're going to go ahead and end the episode, guys. Uh, now that we have that, that'll allow us to research our ships. And we just need to get this last national focus selected here, and uh, then we're done. So we can go with the wave, uh, the waves of syndicalism, which is... Uh, increases our naval max range factor. Okay, that's nice. Uh, and then gives us a research bonus for the battleships and the transport models. Uh, or we can do the home fleet, which is destroyers and light cruisers. Uh, and that will also lead us to strike the regime here. Of course, we can't do that. Because, uh, yeah, the Kingdom of France doesn't even exist anymore. All right, so, yeah, we don't need to annex a war goal against them. What does this one do? All right, this gives a marine bonus. Okay. Um, so we probably want to get that. We already have a battleship. Oh, wait a minute. Hmm. All right, that actually is not that beneficial. You just get the naval range, because I think we only have one more battleship to research. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, really not all that important to get that just yet. All right, so instead, let's move over here, and we could always do that as well. I think what we're going to end up doing, though, let's see what all this does. Oh, nice. All right, so, yeah, you get a lot of war goals here. Okay. Uh, what we're, we're going to do, though, is we're going to work on this here. Uh, we can produce infrastructure a lot faster. We get some civilian factories. I've been looking at this for a while, saying, hey, we need to go after that. So, yeah, we'll go, go ahead and start working on that stuff now. Uh, and, yeah, that is the end of the episode. We have more troops that need to get assigned as well. Uh, we'll do that all in the next one. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I uh, got that peace treaty done. The Entente is finally defeated. Uh, what we'll do is we'll show you guys the... Uh, uh, current faction map before we end here as you see uh, we're looking much more powerful a lot more blue on the map uh, and then of course Metz goes in their own little pact here but yeah the German faction is uh, quite beefy uh, they are looking extremely powerful uh, so this is this is it guys uh, that's pretty much all that's left we'll have a few small conflicts like Denmark maybe going to Sweden I don't know if it'd be worth it or not uh, is and Finland's not part of a faction either uh, I don't know if it's worth it going into Sweden, worth the manpower costs and stuff uh, to do that, uh, especially when Norway doesn't have any troops to help us out. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know if we'll attack Sweden, but at the very least, we'll attack Denmark uh, to get another front against the Germans. Uh, but other than that, I, I think it's all against the German faction. Like, Italy's all German faction. That's that's what we're going to do, guys. It's going to be the two heavyweights duking it out, and that's pretty much, pretty much what remains in this campaign is the big boss battle that we've saved for the end. We specifically saved it here. Uh, to take out the Germans at the end when they're nice and powerful. If you like the video, leave that like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, love talking to you guys, I re read and reply to all comments, uh, and then also check out some of the other stuff that we got going on on the channel right now, and thanks for watching.